Hey guys, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you the usage of uh, different scenes and clips while editing. So we'll not be creating anything fancy today but I'm gonna teach you some nice tips. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start by creating a new project. I'm gonna click on it and give it a name. Uh, let's say Yepper Design. Uh, okay, just gonna press on OK. Then I'm gonna then I can choose my uh, my settings of my project. Uh, I'm gonna choose for a wide screen. Uh, and if you go to the, the description and hear the information, we'll be using uh, stereo uh, as the audio layer. You can change it if you go to tracks, uh, to mono or to 5.1 if you're uh, working in a uh, surround system. Okay, um, so I'm gonna press OK and it will open up my Premiere Pro. Gonna drag in uh, some footage I have here. Okay, there it is. Um, gonna first, I'm gonna start with scene 3A. Okay, here's your first tip. If you're gonna double click on it, um, you can choose your scenes in your source of video. So in, in the left canvas, so here's a video of my source, okay? Um, and the video will, you will be seeing in your right canvas is from your timeline, okay? Uh, so what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna select scenes from this and I'm gonna drag it into my timeline. So instead of dragging my whole video into my timeline and then start cutting in it, I'm now gonna cut or select my scenes in uh, the canvas here of my source. Uh, I'm gonna do I can do this by uh, placing mark in points. So I'm gonna say uh, at this point I want a mark in. Then I'm gonna scrub further and say at here I want a set out point. Okay. And now there are three ways to uh, drag this video to my timeline. If I only want the audio from the video, I can uh, drag this icon to my timeline, which is now only the audio. Or I can drag this uh, video icon, which, which will only drag uh, or use my the video from the source. Or I can use them both, and then I will just drag the image from the uh, from the canvas to my timeline. Okay, so you'll be using that most of it. Okay, um, or we can select another scene, uh, let's say around here, place a new endpoint, go further in time and place another uh, point, okay. Now here are some other buttons you see. With this one, with this uh, button, I will be I will be going to my first endpoint, okay. And with this button I will be going to my outer point, okay. And with this button I will be playing the video between my in point and outer point. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag it to my timeline. So here I got two scenes selected from my source. All right. Um, now I'll be using uh, another video, which is this one. Now, unfortunately, this uh, audio from this video is mono and not stereo. Uh, so if I'm gonna select a again a scene from it, let's say something like that and I'm going to drag it to my timeline, you'll be seeing that there will be creating a new uh, audio layer, which is pretty irritating sometimes, if you don't want that. Now, um, it's not possible to use a mono clip on a stereo line, so we can't place this uh, audio uh, part in this layer. That's not possible, because we have already been, because we're already uh, using it for the uh, other footage, okay, which is a stereo. You can also see it here on the waveform, which has a left and a right side, okay. If I can open up the audio 4, it doesn't have that, okay. Now, uh, to fix that problem, uh, let's say we don't want it all the way down, we can delete these tracks, okay. We can't change it, we can't edit, we, can, we cannot say, okay, no, I want it to be a, uh, a stereo, no, you have to delete it, okay. I'm gonna say delete all empty tracks. I'm gonna press OK, and now it's lined up a little better. Okay, now if you say I want this mono to be on top of my audio layer uh, too, um, okay, I'm gonna del uh, delete my video for a while now. Uh, I'm gonna delete this track, all empties. Okay, and I can also say add a new track. And uh, if we go here to track type, you can change it to mono or to a 5.1 if you're using that. And uh, the placement has to be before the first track. And I can say I want 100 new tracks, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to make one new audio track, okay? The same thing for the video, by the way. Uh, I'm going to press OK. 
And now, if I'm now, if I'm now dragging in my video, um, you'll be seeing that it will pick out the first layer, which is a mono. Okay, uh, well, that's basically it. Um, for this tutorial, it's a very short one. Uh, that's also because I've got exams, so I don't have much time to prepare a good tutorial. Okay, but uh, I hope this will um, help you a little bit in your uh, work area in Premiere Pro. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out my website, uh, yepperdesign.com.